Yeah, what happened here in this Garden Grove neighborhood has, has devastated the folks who live around here and understandably destroyed this family of an 87-year-old man. He was a kind man. A kind man, yeah. A kind man. Yeah, I think this, I couldn't believe that it's happened. According to his daughter-in-law, Tam Dorn, 87-year-old Chong Pham was a, a good-hearted family man who only spoke Vietnamese and liked taking walks. The suspect is identified by police as Mario Brancato. And I'm, I think he followed my father because my father walked around the neighborhood. His daughter-in-law says he suffered from dementia. He got dementia, yeah. Wednesday night, a man police describe as a transient walked into Pham's apartment. The ring camera his family had inside to keep an eye on him was on, but his daughter-in-law says it was only in the living area. He didn't want one in his bedroom. It showed the two men talking, but it was in the back room, authorities say, that he was assaulted. The room that didn't have a camera. He died at a local hospital. It's tragic when I got that news. Johnny Chavez was upset when he heard what happened to his neighbor across the street. His camera caught what appears to be the suspect in red and another man thought to be Chung Pham outside. The whole thing makes him nervous. I wasn't comfortable with it. My friend wasn't comfortable with it and I'm right here. Yeah. I'm right here. Couldn't believe what you were hearing. Not at all, not at all. But it happens and I wish it didn't happen. A lot of people feeling that way right now. Uh, when the suspect came out of that apartment, we're told by authorities that, that the neighbors subdued the suspect, held them until the police showed up. And when the police showed up, they took him to the Orange County Jail, where he's been booked on murder. In Garden Grove, I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.